I'm Michael Peshkin. I'm an engineering professor at Northwestern University. Remember when you used to be able to take your homework on a notepad and sit opposite your teacher across a desk and talk it over? I'm going to show you a hack so that you can do that same kind of thing over Zoom. And it, all it needs is a little mirror and some bell wire, or even a makeup compact that has a small mirror in it. But first I'm going to show you what does it look like when you do it. Hi, thanks for meeting with me. I'm having some trouble with my homework. Hi, you're welcome. Why don't you show me your work? Okay. Here's what happens. When I write the equation with minus t plus t and minus mg, the t's cancel out. Well, the issue that you have is because you have one more tension, one extra tension over here, and then we're going to have here the tension going upward. So based on this, you can rewrite your equation. Oh, how about just plus t? minus mg equals zero. That works. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. My pleasure. So I put my homework paper on top of my keyboard, and we could both look at it together because of this little mirror in front of the, the laptop's camera, which turned it basically into a document camera, so it looks down there instead. So you need a document camera. I'll tell you how to build this. Take 13 inches of bell wire and bend it into a U like that, and then take, a mir take your mirror and put it halfway, so it's covering half this thing. Then bend these legs over. They could go considerably past the, edge of the other edge of the mirror. Bend them over like this. And now you're going to twist. You're going to twist here and here and make twists. So I'll try to do that here. And the same over here. So now you've trapped the mirror and you've also got these extra legs there. Those legs are going to be important. Okay, so those legs here, they go against the laptop screen and the loop goes around the back to hold it there, like that. To adjust the mirror, Put this in photo booth on a Mac or camera on Windows machine and you have to adjust this mirror and bend it a little bit until you get a view of the whole keyboard. Once you get it there, it's pretty much set for good until you sit on it or something. Um, there. So now I'm looking at my keyboard. Mirror is adjusted correctly. Okay, last thing. Software and how to use this. You have all the software you need. So here I am in Zoom and I'm going to want to show my homework. I could put it there and move my mirror into place. So now I'm looking at the homework. That's actually not good enough because the mirror causes a left-right switch and Zoom does too, but somebody watching this from afar is going to see everything left-right reversed. So what I do instead is screen share photo booth because photo booth also makes a left-right switch. And when I do that, now I'm sharing a correctly oriented image with my remote person who's helping me. One thing I love about this is that your real paper here and the image of it over here on the screen are right next to each other. And to me, they kind of merge in, into one entity. And it's like, it's like the fold is a magic mirror and the other piece of it somebody else can write on. So it's a magic mirror that gives you answers. Okay, what if you don't have a plastic mirror and some bell wire? Can you do this with a makeup compact that has a mirror in it? Yeah, I think you can, especially if that mirror is fairly wide. So take that makeup compact. I'm going to put some tape around the back of it so I can make it stay where I put it. And pop it over the top. Bend that mirror down. And look over here until you're seeing the keyboard. Once that's in place, we're going to try to tape that makeup mirror in place like that. So we've, again, made a document camera. There it is. Okay, so that's going to work too, and you can even flip this out of the way and flip it back down as you, as you like.